Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is a bit of a short one but basically I wanted to make a very simple easy to follow video about metabolic bone disease and why providing calcium and D3 is important but also you do need to provide other vitamins and minerals. I have covered this in a video before where I go through every vitamin and mineral what they do and why they're important so you can check that out afterwards. Also, I do cover this in my new ebook, yeah, shameless plug, um, but basically I cover water soluble and fat soluble vitamins, minerals, we compare uh, synthetic and natural supplements and go into a bit more detail about metabolic bone disease. Uh, so if you'd like to check out all that ebook, that is available on leopardgeckomerch.com. Also, if you could leave a like, I don't usually ask this, but I know because this video is quite niche, it's not gonna get picked up by the YouTube algorithm, but it could potentially save some leopard gecko lives maybe even just reptiles in general so if we can get it going getting out there and recommended to other reptile owners hopefully we can prevent this easily preventable condition now, as you may know, there are a variety of vitamins and minerals leopard geckos require to lead a long and healthy life. Two of these listed that may stick out to you are, of course, vitamin D3 and calcium. Now, they form part of the calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, D3 cycle. And today, we'll be looking at why keeping a balance of all four is essential to good skeletal and muscular health. An imbalance of these four can cause metabolic bone disease. As I said, it's an easily avoidable condition that affects all reptiles. This disease mainly occurs due to a poor diet and a lack of or complete absence of vitamin and mineral supplements, particularly vitamin D. Vitamin D3 can be given to your gecko orally by dusting feeder insects in synthetic D3 or through the skin by providing your gecko with a suitable UV system. Now for me personally, I use the Arcadia Pro T5 7% Shade Dweller, along with natural non-toxic supplements such as Earth Pro A, Calcium Pro Magnesium, and occasionally revitalized D3. Now, as I mentioned, the cause of this disease is usually due to an imbalance of calcium, magnesium, vitamin D3, and phosphorus. This imbalance causes a lack of available minerals in the blood, which then causes the body to release calcium from the bones back into the bloodstream. If there's a continued lack of minerals in the diet and a lack of D3, which allows the correct assimilation, storage and use of minerals, then the bones become weak. Magnesium is a particularly important part of this cycle as it directs calcium to be stored in the bone matter. The metabolic bone disease can also leave muscles weak and struggling to contract, which not only can negatively affect the gecko's mobility, but it can also negatively impact the internal organs such as the heart and lungs. So what are the symptoms of metabolic bone disease? So the most obvious physical symptoms usually occur when the disease is in its later stages. Now these symptoms include swollen or misshapen limbs, spongy bones, this is particularly around the gecko's jawbone and their limbs. They may have tremors, muscle cramps and spasms, a crooked tail and or spine, lumps, shedding problems, lethargy, lack of appetite, and paralysis. Now, if you are worried that your gecko may be suffering from MBD, it is important to see an exotic vet, since some of the symptoms are very similar to those seen in geckos who have an oversupply of synthetic supplements. So a blood test may be done before treatment can go ahead just to double check your gecko definitely has MBD. To avoid your leopard gecko facing this horrible, painful and easily avoidable disease, make sure you have fully researched diet and nutrition before buying your reptile and have all the supplies you need in order to provide a healthy and well-balanced diet. It should also be noted that geckos can hatch out with MBD as a result of their mother having uh, this condition whilst being bred with or having a serious lack of vitamins and minerals whilst carrying the eggs. Now if you'd like to learn more about this condition I'd highly recommend reading the Arcadia Guide to MBD and its Elimination in Captivity by John Courtney Smith. I hope this video has been helpful. As I said at the beginning, make sure you leave a like. It can really help get this video and this information out there. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.